<sighs> Lazy dad here, guys. We got a little problem here with our faucet handle, our shower handle. It's pretty hard to move. You hear the little cracking. Usually what happens is you need to replace one of these little cartridges that go inside. The tools that you'll be needing today are little Allen wrenches, flathead screwdriver, ooh, and my ever trusty pink pliers that I stole from my wife. Let's get to it. Now, if you are a responsible adult, you could go ahead and turn off the water, but you know what? Who needs to go all the way down to the basement? So, turn the knob, you'll see a little hole over here. It's a little plastic or rubber plug. You take that out, and in there, you will need the right size Allen key, and you can kind of just put that in there and loosen it up. Just gonna go ahead and turn this gently. If you have a second pair of hands, which I don't right now, just hold on to the handle and it'll come right off. Once you loosen it, it should come right off. As you can see, there's a little screw. Don't know what it's called, but this Allen key should be able to open it. Now, you're going to take out a few other screws and just realize that you might need a Phillips head screwdriver. So you got one, two, and three. Let's get to it. Once you loosen up one, two, and three screws, got one. These are long, and this cap should come off. And next, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be turning this over here. So just using your hands, very strong. Comes out. Followed by this comes out. And then you drop that. Now this part is important unless you love to get smacked by water and get water everywhere. One, two, you're going to just tighten them. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now, before you do anything, just make sure you take a picture of this right here because you want to set this perfectly to where it is because if you take it out and move it, where the hot water goes and how much hot water you actually get will be different. So make sure this goes back properly. If you don't, your wife is going to yell at you. Now, this piece is a little hard and it's supposed to be tight. What you're going to do is gently unless you're not a gentle giant. Now be careful not to get it on the thread and then you just twist it and it'll come right out. Now this over here is the cartridge. It wiggles out. If you see over here, right? And you see the little fit right here. We're just going to pull that out. Uh -huh. Always put them side by side so you can get a good idea. You see there's these two little knobs here on the old one, on the new one. And then I have my little rubber here. And you see how much clearer it is compared to this guy? Ew. I case these two into the bottom right here and you're just going to gently push it in and it stays there make sure it's not wobbly so really get that in there you may have to twist it a little to get it in there so you put this cap back on make sure you tighten it okay if it's not tight it's going to start leaking out look for any water damage anything water coming out that will be a good sign if there's a good seal 
okay? And then you're going to, once again, loosen these up. And once you've loosened them up a little, uh-oh, supervisor's here. Excuse me, supervisor. Mm -mm. You can go ahead and do a test run. Just put this handle in, just turn. There we go, feeding the people. And make sure that there is no water running anywhere nearby. Let it run for a couple seconds. And just go ahead and turn it. You should feel that it's softer. And then go ahead and fully let the water out and then start putting stuff back in. Reassembly time. So you wanna put this back in. Make sure that this red piece is right. If you tilt it too much, if you put it more like this, you're not gonna get much hot water. So make sure you set it to the right setting. Once again, your wife will yell at you because she can't get hot water. Good luck with that. You put that in and then slide this bad boy in. Let me get a good angle. Okay. And then what you're going to be doing is you put this screw and tighten this in. Because I'm always scared, I always just do a test run every couple turns. Seems to be working. Once again, checking for any water leaks. Nothing here, nothing here, we're good. Now, here's the thing. Some people would like to put some sealant around here. You can always do that. Um, mine snugs pretty well. Probably I'll do that down the line, um, but not right now since I only have one hand. And you put this screw and this screw back, just line them up with over here and down here, and you'll be good to go. Okay, final step. You're gonna put the handle back. Make sure it's facing down, but once again, Make sure it turns all the way and all the way down, right? If it's getting stuck somewhere in the middle, you didn't put that red part down properly. So once this is back on, this is good. Last piece, you just thread this in here and you're good to go. To put the Allen wrench in there and then I'll go ahead and put it in and then tighten it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, easy open, easy close.